It's 2024, and the world has just learned about asteroid 2024 Wire 4. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory announces the discovery of a 40 to 100 meter wide asteroid on a trajectory that brings it uncomfortably close to Earth. Initial calculations suggest a 1% chance of impact in 2032, a low probability, but high enough to warrant concern. In 2025, the odds quickly climb to 3%, and over the next few years, as more data pours in, the odds climb again. By 2027, the chance of impact rises to 10%. The world holds its breath. SpaceX, in collaboration with NASA and the European Space Agency, begins preparing a mission to deflect the asteroid. The plan is simple launch a spacecraft to impact 2024 Wire 4 and nudge it off its collision course. The mission, dubbed Aegis, is set for 2028. Humanity's fate rests on its success, but no one can predict how horribly it will go wrong. It's October 2028, and the Aegis spacecraft launches on a crisp morning. The world watches as SpaceX's Falcon Heavy roars into the sky, carrying humanity's hopes. The mission is straightforward. Impact the asteroid at high speed, altering its trajectory just enough to miss Earth. Scientists estimate that even a small change in velocity will be sufficient to avert disaster. For months, the spacecraft journeys through the void, its trajectory meticulously calculated. On March 15th, 2029, Aegis reaches its target. The impact is flawless on paper. The spacecraft strikes 2024 wire 4 at 15 kilometers per second, sending a plume of debris into space. Initial telemetry suggests the asteroid's trajectory has shifted. Cheers erupt in mission control. But within hours, the mood shifts. Telescopes around the world detect something alarming. The impact has not just nudged the asteroid, it has shattered it. 2024 wire four fractures into dozens of large fragments, each now on its own trajectory. Some are still headed toward Earth. Panic sets in. Scientists scramble to recalculate the paths of the debris. The largest fragment, now dubbed wire four, Alpha, is still on a collision course with Earth. But the smaller pieces pose a new threat, a reign of destruction that could strike anywhere on the planet. It's mid-2032, and the world knows the truth. Wire 4, Alpha is coming, and it's going to hit New York City. The smaller fragments, once thought to be harmless, are now predicted to scatter across the eastern United States. The largest of these, a 50-meter wide chunk, is also headed for New York. The city becomes a ghost town. Over six months, millions flee. The government declares a mandatory evacuation zone stretching from Washington, D.C. to Boston. Skyscrapers stand empty, their windows dark. Times Square, once the heart of the city, is eerily silent. The only sounds are the occasional hum of military vehicles patrolling the streets. Scientists work around the clock, hoping for a miracle. But the math is unforgiving. Wire 4, Alpha will strike on October 12th, 2032, with a force of 10,000 Hiroshima bombs. The smaller fragments will arrive hours later, peppering the region with destruction. The world holds its breath as the countdown begins. New York is a fortress, its streets barricaded, its bridges closed. The military has set up command centers in New Jersey and Connecticut, ready to respond to the aftermath. Satellites track Wire 4 Alpha as it hurtles toward Earth, its fiery tail visible even in daylight. In the final week, a strange calm settles over the city. Those who remain, emergency workers, scientists, and a handful of journalists, move with quiet determination. The world watches through live streams, each update a grim reminder of the inevitable. The asteroid is now visible to the naked eye, a bright, in the night sky. Social media is flooded with images and videos, each one more haunting than the last. In New York, the air is thick with tension. Emergency sirens wail, warning anyone still in the city to take shelter.
The first fragments begin to enter the atmosphere. Streaks of light light up the sky as smaller pieces burn up on re-entry. But the larger chunks survive, slamming into the outskirts of the city. Fires break out in Queens and Brooklyn, their orange glow visible for miles. Wire 4 is now minutes away. The sky turns an eerie shade of red as the asteroid shockwave compresses the atmosphere. In Manhattan, the ground begins to tremble. Buildings sway, their windows rattling. The world watches in stunned silence as the end approaches. At 3.17 p.m. Eastern Time, Wire 4, Alpha Strikes. The asteroid hits just off the coast of Staten Island, sending a massive shockwave rippling through the region. The sound is deafening, a roar that can be heard hundreds of miles away. A blinding flash lights up the sky, followed by a mushroom cloud that rises high into the atmosphere. The immediate effects are catastrophic. The shockwave flattens buildings within a 10-mile radius, reducing skyscrapers to rubble. Fires erupt across the city, fueled by broken gas lines. The impact generates a tsunami that surges up the Hudson River, flooding lower Manhattan. The city is unrecognizable. Dust and smoke fill the air, blotting out the sun. Emergency responders struggle to navigate the chaos, their efforts hampered by collapsed roads and raging fires. The death toll is already in the tens of thousands, and it is climbing rapidly. As night falls, the full extent of the devastation becomes clear. New York City is gone. The skyline, once a symbol of human achievement, is now a jagged silhouette of ruin. The smaller fragments continue to rain down, adding to the destruction. The world reels from the disaster. New York, a city of 8 million, is a wasteland. The economic impact is staggering, with global markets plunging into chaos. The United States declares a state of emergency, mobilizing every available resource to aid the survivors. Recovery efforts are slow and painful. The city is uninhabitable, its infrastructure destroyed. Millions are displaced, their lives appended. The psychological toll is immense, with survivors grappling with grief and trauma. New York begins to rebuild, but it will never be the same. The disaster has left an indelible mark on the collective psyche, a reminder of humanity's vulnerability. The Aegis mission, once a symbol of hope, is now a cautionary tale.